Our growth point teaching takes us to 2 Samuel chapter 11, verse number 4, and it reads as follows. Then David sent messengers to get her. She came to him, and he slept with her. She had purified herself from her uncleanness. Then she went back home. We see here in this particular verse that David has acted upon his heart that was on fire for Bathsheba. David pursued her. David allowed his heart to burn with lust. David and Bathsheba committed the physical act of adultery. Even though David had already committed this act in his mind. Now scripture doesn't say why or the true reason Bathsheba and David committed adultery. What we know is, is they acted on their lust. They acted on their passion. Once again, this serves as a warning for us. We must not allow our heart to be on fire for anything other than God. God needs to be first in our lives. Our relationship with Jesus needs to be the number one priority in our lives. Remaining sensitive to the Holy Spirit must be number one. We need to keep God in His proper place. So may you and I allow our hearts to remain on fire for God. May we not pledge our allegiance and give the number one spot up to anyone else, but may we reserve that for God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, help us to keep you number one in our lives. May you be first place. May our hearts remain on fire for you, being sensitive to the Holy Spirit and keeping Jesus number one in our lives. Pray this prayer blessing over you. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because of you, Jesus, and the hope of heaven, we believe and we know the best is yet to come. Amen.